Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Matt with Transcript Maker here. Coming at you with another uh, Q&A video. This time it's about uh, weighted and unweighted GPAs. Of course, we all know what a GPA is. It's a grade point average. Um, that's what's going to appear on your high school transcript to give the college uh, an indication of how well your grades were. So ideally, you end up with a 4.0, or a perfect GPA, which uh, means you did pretty well in high school. The, where the concepts of um, weighting comes in is if you took any advanced placement or dual enrollment courses during high school. Because those courses are going to receive more weight when calculating the GPA, since they were a little more challenging for you to complete. Um, calculating a weighted versus an unweighted GPA is a little bit involved, and I'm not going to discuss it today. But what I'm going to talk about is um, whether or not you should put a weighted GPA on your transcript. If you took AP and dual enrollment courses, absolutely uh, put it on your transcript. If you didn't take any, then it doesn't really make any sense to have it on there. So you'll just want to stick with the unweighted GPA. Some colleges want to see both. So even if you took AP and dual enrollment, um, you'll want to put the unweighted GPA on there too. Um, it's probably safe to put both on uh, unless the college is being super picky and um, they will let you know if they want one of them taken off. But uh, generally, if you took AP or dual enrollment, include both the weighted and the unweighted GPA on your transcript, just in case the college wants to see both. That's it for today. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to post a comment to this video or on the Transcript Maker page. Uh, and as always, thanks for using Transcript Maker, and have a wonderful day.